and I'm just darkening up the air vent at the rear of the car. This uh, allows the hot air to get away from the brakes and from the tires, so just cools it off a little bit. And do a little bit here on the mirrors. And these are little, little tiny things that you do that make the drawing really stand out. Just by taking care of the little tiny details, people think that you're really, really doing a great job. So for a little bit of effort, it just puts the thing right over the top. And that's what we're trying to do. We want this to really look good. And it's pretty easy to do. Small investment of time, big return. Okay, and and darkening up the tire and the wheel combination a little bit too. On the rear here, it needs to get darker considerably in order to be kind of believable. It's really coming along. I think another two of these videos and this one will be done. And then we'll start a new one. I'm doing this upside down relative to you, so it takes me a little bit to check back on my drawing to see where I actually should be. Okay, that's a start for that one. I'm going to darken up a little bit on the front tire just to kind of get me toward the area where I want to be with it. Again, all this stuff's pretty straightforward, nothing too surprising in here. Starting to really get close though. Like I say, just a couple more, one or two more of these videos and it'll be done. And I'll darken up a little bit off camera too, just so you don't have to sit here and watch me do something that's really kind of boring. But it's fun to do. But it's for me, it's kind of like baseball. It's more fun to play than it is to watch. Okay, uh, there we are. We're making a start at it. Um, I think I'm going to sign off for now and. Maybe tomorrow we'll be at the point of being able to finish it on camera. If not, we'll be pretty close to it, I think. But let me get a little bit farther along with this. Okay, that's it for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.